and welcome back to my channel if you're new hi hello my name is Seth and I'm a cruelty free youtuber in today's video I'm going to be doing a one brand tutorial kind of thing and it's gonna be the elf tutorial or one brand whatever it's called you know so anyways if you guys want to see the products that I use or the look I come up with please keep on watching all right guys so we're gonna start with primer now in the past I have used a couple of their primers like uh, I have the poreless face primer that looks like this also I bought their illuminated face primer that looks like this this one's not my favorite just because it has glitter in it so and no. and then I also have matte primer supposed to help with oils and, and whatnot and this I do like a lot it does control oil for some reason even though it's illuminating I don't see the illumination but whatever yeah and then recently I got two of their new primers okay and these this these are the ones that I'm using at the moment and it is their um, prep and prime stick okay it looks like this cool it's like a bomb kind of thing super cool I do like this and then they also I also use their oil country primer mist which is which looks like these okay so first I'm gonna start off with the prep and blur stick and I just put it in the areas that I want to blur usually it's my t-zone because I do have a lot of uh, texture around my skin around my cheeks and stuff and I do my nose and I try to do my, my fine lines, which is my smile lines and stuff. A little bit on my chin. Then I just blend the rest. If you guys hear the fan, I'm sorry, but my dog is sleeping in front of me. And he actually went to the vet today. And he has um, hip dysplasia. So right now he's kind of like a little off, you know. He's just sleepy because of... I guess anesthesia, anesthesia, or whatever you want to call it, but yeah, <sighs> my poor little baby. So, anyways, I'm gonna start off now with the oil control mist, and then just spray it. I have two shades from their collection of their. What is this one called? I'm not quite sure which foundation this is, but like the packaging is really nice. It's a glass bottle and it has a pump obviously this shade is fucking light but yeah, anyways this one okay so this was in the color sand and then the other one that I have is a buff okay their foundation range is not great obviously I heard really good things about this foundation that's why I got it but obviously their shade range does not pretty much fit me or anyone else basically but elf if you see this um tutorial please please come out with more shades i really want to see my color in one of your foundations so i'm gonna try to mix both and also this might not well this is not elf related but i did get a hard candy makeup drops just to put a little bit of a yellow tint to it just in case to make it work for me so I'm gonna get a mixing thingy that I got from um, Morphe years ago let's see if this works if not I'm sorry I'm gonna look like I don't know a monster mm. Let me see. I'm gonna use uh, this is not elf related. I tried one of the sponges and they suck. So now do not again. So I'm just gonna yeah, it's too light. Too light. It I just look like a ghost. Look at that. It's okay. We're gonna um We're gonna try to contour and hopefully that works because I look like a ghost. I, I should try a darker shade 
but the undertones just don't match, you know? They just don't match. Use a concealer from them. I believe they don't have it anymore. Um, this one is their HD Lifting Concealer in the color Brightening. It looks like this. It's more like a yellow tone on that um, concealer. I had this for a while. And they don't make it anymore. They have fair, medium, some other one, and deep. I, I think they have three colors or something like that. But I like this because it makes your eyes bright. And obviously, I'm gonna um, highlight everything because I look like a blob. So, not dissing you guys, not dissing Elf. It's just this color, dude, is like not it does not suit me at all i'm going to set my face i'm going to be using their tone correcting powder it looks like this okay and inside looks like this it has four different shades to basically just uh cancel out redness or whatever discoloration you have but since i don't have a translucent powder i'm gonna be working with this and pretty much what I do with this powder, I swirl it around and go like this. And it's a white color. So I just set everything. I do um, powder contour and I'm going to be using their cool bronzer. It looks like this. I had this for a while and I do like it. Come on, focus. And I do like it. Looks like this inside. Four shades. I pretty much mixed them all just to make a perfect color. Um, so yes. I'm just I'm not gonna be using them. I don't have all the brushes from Elf, but all makeup related art. So I'm just gonna swirl this around and I'm just gonna contour. And it's they have a warm contour as well palette I was gonna do my brows but first but since my face is like super light I kind of have to um, bronze up my face on screen it looks really dark but it's not okay guys it's not that dark But it's a nice, pretty bronzer color. And you can actually contour with this because it has like this darker shade right here. You can just use that and contour your face with that. Okay. I just have to bronze my face because I look like a ghost. I'm not pretty, I'm not precise on my nose just because my nose, I think my nose is really cute. It does not need a shape to it, it just needs some color to it, you know? So, ta da, this is the bronze look. This one for some reason looks really dark on okay. camera, but it's not. Uh, let's use the darker shade so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Uh, okay, I'm gonna use a smaller brush. So now I'm gonna be doing um, brows. I'm gonna be using their new precise eyebrow, ultra precise brow pencil in deep brown. Okay, I'm not a big fan of pencils. The brows but for the sake of it I'll try this okay I like this a 
lot. This, I think, I believe it was a little more costly co compared to the white pencil. But I think it's totally worth it. And yeah, I'm gonna use uh, a different concealer for my brow just because I prefer that. And I'm gonna be using it in different. You know what? Let me do this first. Um, I usually use their pomade. This one is their brow liner and brow cream liner. This was in the color Espresso. And usually I do this with my brows, but I wanted to do or wanted to try the pencil first since I just bought this. And with this, I'm just gonna make the brows a little more sharp and more um, bold with pigment. So usually. I'm going to do the tail. This is basically a dupe for the Anastasia dip brow. This item is only $4 compared to however much that is. It's okay if it's um, Messy, I'm gonna clean it up with concealer in a bit. I just want this to be more, you know? Yeah. That, and now I'm gonna conceal the brows because they are a mess. So I'm gonna be using my next uh, full coverage concealer, looks like this. I'm in the color beige and this is pretty much the only concealer I use on my brows so and then elf doesn't have anything similar to that so yeah don't mind me summer breeze palette and it's so beautiful like look at these colors bomb.com look at these colors they're so pretty like I am super surprised it took me years to get this palette because the pigmentation is great. Like, it's bomb. And it's only $10, guys. $10. And it's beautiful. I already wore this a couple times. I like the little pinky shades. Um, they're nice. So, I'm going to do the pinky shades again because I actually like that. So, I'm just going to do like a pink, probably eye. Give me a second. A purpley eye because why not you know let's live I'm gonna start off with this pink shadow they don't have names so yeah this little pink shadow I'm gonna put that all over like above my crease since I have hooded lips um, let me put you guys closer since I have hooded lips you know that's the best way for me for the shadows to pop and stuff so yeah I'm gonna do here and put that above my crease. There is a little fallout with this palette, but it's not a lot. Okay, guys, it's not a lot. I don't like the mirror because it's long. I kind of wanted like this, but whatever, guys. But the colors are really pigmented. Like I really didn't like dip it too hard in the pan. And look at the color. The only thing I don't like about it is that the pan itself, it's really small. So you have to go like this. And I don't like that because I, I feel like I'm getting the other color on the other side. So, yeah. So anyways, I'm just going to stamp this with this. Pigmented. So yeah, I like this. So pretty. I'm going to put this on my brow, up, up, like close to my brow bone. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do the other one off camera, but I'm gonna do this, this, this eye. But since I already done this combo before, I'm gonna do it a little different. I'm gonna do Caprice. Oh, well, at least try. So yeah. So the next color it's going to be. I'm gonna do this darker pink color right here 
above the crease a little bit. Like I said, there's there is some fallout. Come on, focus, bitch. There is some fallout, but it's not a lot, so it's okay. Oh, let me let me let me see trick myself. So I'm gonna put that above. So it could be like a nice gradient. Look at that. Beautiful. These colors are bomb. Like what why where was I, you know? Like super bomb. Whew. Pretty. So I'm just going to use the same brush before and just blend those two colors just with the remaining whatever the brush has. But look at that. It's so, oh my goodness, it's so pretty. So I'm going to use a little bit more just to deepen it up. beautiful okay so now I'm gonna be using with this smaller brush I'm gonna be using this purple color right here I don't know what happened there with light but whatever um, so yeah I'm just gonna put this above or on the crease for sure and this one I put this on the crease I'm gonna cut the crease okay guys and I'm gonna be using the brightening concealer for that I'm just gonna do a half cut crease cuz uh, I'm not trying to be like do a big old show here you know brush to blend that out. Professional doing these cut creases, but you know, I try. Okay, and now I'm gonna be using a different eyeshadow palette that I had. For for years now, this one is called the Prism Eyeshadow. Looks like it is. It's super old. Come on. And this one's their natural one. Looks like this. It's super like shimmery colors. It's really there you go. It's really nice and pretty. So I'm gonna use uh, one of these shadows on here. Uh, let me see. I'm gonna use this orangey color. This with my finger and you know what? Maybe the yellow one, maybe the yellow one. Just to make the maybe the top one. So let me try the yellow one on the inner corner area. Yeah, look at that. Such a pretty color. That brown seed color in the end. Yeah, so pretty. I use that purple color to blend the corners. Okay. Oh, 
and then just put a little bit more on top. a little close up how that looks. So yeah, so I'm gonna do the other eye off camera. So I'll see you guys in the back. I'm done with the other eye. Now I'm gonna do mascara. And there is a mascara that I do like. This one's called the 3 in 1 mascara. It looks like this. like this and the brush looks like this it has a weird tip it's rounded it's spiky it's pretty good it works well so I'm just gonna put a little bit on there because we're gonna do lashes but I just want this to work I mean to look full as you can see like it separates the lashes really well the lashes look like they're really cute I like them I think they were like three or four dollars they look cute so I'm gonna work, put these on in the end because I take forever to put them on but I'm just gonna let my mascara uh, dry down but now I'm gonna do uh, blush so I'm gonna be using their um, Wonderlust shadow um, blush it's very like a mauve color, purpley almost. It looks super nice. I'm gonna put that on my trucks. This one's a baked blush and fantastic. It looks like this. This one needs to be so bomb in the day. It's like a champagne pink color, super nice. So I'm gonna put that on the cheeks. I haven't used this in such a long time. It's supposed to be a blush, but reality is a highlighter. As you can see, you can see the shift. It's super pretty. It's nice, guys. It's nice. This color, the Berlin lipstick, would look good with this. I'm gonna do that. It's not my day. And I'm gonna put some of their plunking lip gloss on top. This one's called Mocha Twist, and this is by far my favorite lip gloss. I'm just gonna put the lashes off okay, camera. So I'm back and I put the, the lashes on. This one's a little wonky, but it's okay, it's fine. But yeah, look at these lashes. They're purple. They're really um, natural looking, really pretty. Don't look at this one. This one's fucked up, but this one's good. It's really pretty. I like it. So let's finish this look. Okay. So now I'm just gonna put a little bit of color underneath the eyes and we're almost done so uh, so I'm gonna put the little darker pink color this color underneath uh, what am I doing? I'm gonna put that underneath This wonky eye though. Oh my god. Okay. 
Okay, and I'm just gonna add some more of that purple shade. So that's pretty much it for the eyes. Now I'm gonna be using their new um, dewy setting mist. Looks like this. And I'm just gonna put that a level. I really love the eyeshadow. I think that's my favorite item. Um, so far the dewy, I'm not really into dewy like skin, but this looks nice. I think it does its job and it smells like coconut, so it's okay. And yeah, I love the highlighter. I forgot how good it is. It's been a minute since I used this one, but I do love it. Um, I love the lip combo. It's good. Usually, for me, it's just the eyes. The eyes look nice, like a bomb. So I'm gonna do a slow mo for you guys and. Yeah, so this is pretty much the final look. So I hope you guys so I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope to see you in the next one. So please subscribe and like this video. So yeah, bye guys.